Hey, what's up guys? Ken from iTech here. So today we're going to be doing an update on my network slash server rack. And this is for October of 2023. And start things off, we have my two APC smart UPSs. Uh, these are the 1500 VAs. So the bottom one we have for our server infrastructure. The top one is our network infrastructure. And the smart management just allows me to log into a web interface and check the status of the UPS. It also gives me alerts if it goes on battery. And now looking at our server rack. At the bottom here we just have a uh, cheap nav point 3 use sh shelf that I keep random stuff in. And now for our primary storage, we have a Dell PowerEdge R630 and a NetApp DS4243. So, PowerEdge server, we have our two boot drives off to the left. And then we have our six 600 gig SAS drives that we use for our VM storage. And then our NetApp DS4243, we have 14 10 terabyte enterprise drives that are in a RAID Z1 that is uh, pulled together for a 140 terabytes raw and then we have 120 terabytes usable storage. And I did have one drive die on me um, that I replaced with this drive here after we rebuilt the array. Um, in terms for specs on this R630 we have two Xeon uh, E5 E4s so we have uh, two 10 cores each for a total of 20 cores and these are the low power CPUs and for RAM we have 240 gigs of DDR4 ECC Next, going up, we have my little Blu-ray server. Uh, this is what I use to watch Blu-rays or make Blu-rays. And that's just the cheap uh, old AMD Ryzen CPU that's only four cores with the integrated graphics. And we have the two LG Blu-ray drives. Okay, and then the next server here so this is a Dell PowerEdge R730. That is our VMware EXXi host. So in this we have our boot drive to the left. And then we have our two raw mapped um, SATA devices. That's passed through to our Blue Iris server. And for specs we have two Xeons uh, I believe there are two 8 cores and we have 128 gigs of RAM for our VMs. And going up top, we are now at our network layer. So we have our modem for Spectrum and our Lutron Cassetta Hub and then our cloud key in the back. For switching, we have two Unify switches. These are the 48 port uh, USW PoE. Uh, these are the non-pro version. So the only difference really is is that the last couple ports are not PoE. And then all your SFP connections are just regular SFP and not uh, SFP plus for 10 gig. I mean, which is fine for now. Now going up, we have our, uh, this is just an old Dell Optiplex server that used to run Blue Iris, uh, which is now virtualized in our VMware host. And then we just have a cheap unmanaged uh, TrendNet 2.5 gig switch that's not currently really being used. Now for routing, we have our PFSense firewall 
which is a Dell PowerEdge R240. And that's running a single Intel Xeon that has four cores and eight threads. And we do have two WANs at this location. So we have our primary WAN as Spectrum. And our secondary WAN is a 5G uh, connection from T-Mobile Business. And that gives us about 100, 100 down and 20 to 30 or so up. And on Spectrum we have one gig by 35. And the rest of the rack is mostly AV stuff for this room and the rest of the house. So we have a Blu-ray, our Roku, and our Den and AVR. And then we have our three Sonos amps that control the music throughout the house. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.